How Elimination Handicapping Strategy Reveals Winning Bets Step 1. Identify Negative Factors Using the information gathered from studying past performances, identify negative factors associated with each horse. These may include 1. Poor recent form, eliminate horses that have consistently performed poorly in recent races or are on a downward trend. 2. Class disadvantage, remove horses that are significantly overmatched in terms of class, facing tougher competition than they have previously handled successfully. 3. Unfavorable track performance, eliminate horses that have a history of poor performances on the specific track or have struggled with track conditions or biases. 4. Distance challenges, exclude horses that have not demonstrated an ability to excel at the race's distance or have consistently underperformed at similar distances. 5. Surface limitations, remove horses that have consistently struggled on the current racing surface or have failed to deliver competitive performances. Step 2. Evaluate remaining contenders. After eliminating horses with negative factors, you will be left with a smaller group of contenders. Evaluate these remaining horses by considering the following positive factors. 1. Recent success. Look for horses that have consistently performed well in recent races, demonstrating competitiveness and signs of improvement. 2. Competitive class levels. Consider horses that have shown an ability to compete well at similar class levels or have demonstrated an upward trajectory. 3. Track performance. Identify horses that have a positive track record on the specific track or have performed exceptionally well in similar conditions. 4. Distance proficiency. Give preference to horses that have shown a strong record of success at the race's distance or have displayed versatility in handling various distances. 5. Surface adaptability. Favor horses that have previously demonstrated the ability to handle the current racing surface effectively, regardless of the conditions. Step 3. Utilize additional factors. To further narrow down your contenders, consider additional factors that may enhance their chances of winning. 1. Trainer and jockey factors, evaluate the success rate of the horse's trainer and jockey. Look for trainers and jockeys known for their expertise in specific situations or with certain types of horses. 2. Pace analysis, analyze the expected pace of the race and determine which horses are likely to benefit from a favorable pace scenario. Look for horses that match the predicted race flow. 3. Workouts and preparations. Consider recent workouts and the horse's preparation leading up to the race. Strong workouts and consistent training can indicate readiness for a winning performance. Step 4. Wagering strategy. Once you have identified the top contenders through the process of elimination, develop a sound wagering strategy. 1. Bet selection. Determine the type of bet that aligns with your analysis and the odds of the contenders. Options include win bets and exotic bets. 2. Bet size, allocate your betting budget proportionally to the strength of your contender's analysis. Focus on higher confidence contenders by placing larger bets on them. 3. Ticket structure, structure your exotic bets to include the top contenders in various combinations based on their perceived likelihood of finishing in specific positions. 4. Risk management, set a budget and adhere to it. Avoid overextending yourself financially, even if you have strong contenders. Remember that horse racing involves inherent risks. Conclusion The process of elimination handicapping strategy allows you to systematically eliminate horses with negative factors, narrowing down the field to identify potential winners. By studying past performances, identifying negative factors, evaluating remaining contenders, and considering additional factors, you can increase your chances of finding winning bets. Develop a well-thought-out wagering strategy based on your analysis and always practice responsible bankroll management. Continuously refine your handicapping skills through observation, learning, and experience. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a comment with your thoughts. It really helps me to improve and create more content you'll enjoy. And if you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a thumbs up and hit the like button. And don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks again for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.